Good evening. I'm John Mao Cherry. I'm a proud New Yorker a conductor, and uh, I am currently the chancellor of the University of North Carolina School of the Arts and a friend of Mark O'Connor. You know, uh, I'm honored to have been asked to say just a few words before part two of the concert. Mark is one of those great, great musicians, and I was thinking on my way up here today from Winston-Salem about what is it about him that makes him so special, and I decided it had to do with the power to transform oneself and how one's art is therefore transformed. You know, Mark was, uh, Mark found music, it saved him. He started out as a, as a guitarist, and that's what he thought he was going to be until he saw a PBS special called Fiddler's Three. And there was a classical violinist, there was a jazz violinist, and a fiddler. And that's when he knew he wanted to be a, a violinist. And his mom couldn't afford a violin until finally he got one and that's what changed his life. What's great about Mark is that not only has the pursuit of, it's just his curiosity taken him to all kinds of, of heights and, and, and to have learned the styles of what we call American music as well as European music and is that he's now writing music and so he's transforming himself and all that he's learned into new music. And of course, like all great transformative artists, he understands having been mentored that for part of his life, he owes it to the kids to mentor them. And that is one of the most beautiful parts of Mark's life, is that he has inspired thousands of kids to learn about and to pursue the great American art forms and to create new ones, which is even more important. Make sure and see the lovely poster in the lobby featuring the cover of one of uh, every one of those 35 albums in 35 years. Uh, beginning with an album called National Fiddle, uh, National Junior Fiddle Champion, made when he was 12 years old. And though he's never fond of me bringing this up, if you, if you, you, if you Google YouTube, you can find a video of him when he was 12 years old. It's amazing. He's amazing. Uh, for 15 years, Mark has directed his own string camps in Tennessee and California, uh, providing and proving that a multidisciplinary string camp can survive and thrive. The camps combine teaching classical, fiddling, jazz, and world music. And for the last several years, Mark has worked very hard to try to complete the leg of his uh, string camp journey by bringing the camp right here to New York. And now Mark has found the right place for it. It'll be at the Society for Ethical Culture, the Fieldston School right next door, and the kids will stay at the YMCA just down the block. The camp debut will take place the last week of July and I'm told there are a few camp instructors and participants here tonight, yes? Yes, two or three, good. Well, I'm glad you came. Uh, we're thrilled to announce that as of actually today, the registration is officially closed and the camp is sold out with 200 students who have registered from all over the world. Uh, I think now that James Brown is passed on, we can officially pass the title of the hardest working man in show business over to Mark O'Connor, I think. Um, for the last two years, Mark has been working on a comprehensive method for American string playing. Uh, Mark hopes that he can push further the idea of an American string playing school. Over the last couple of years, he's developed a sequence of 40 different tunes, some of which he's written, some of which he's arranged from American classics and uh, Mexican mariachi and Canadian folk tunes and American folk tunes, and he's about to release the very first two books of that method. The first glimpse of that method will be part of the string camp this summer. And now for tonight's program. Over the last year, these uh, musicians have worked together. They've performed in different concerts and festivals, and then they ultimately recorded the string quartets. During this process, Mark composed another string quartet commissioned by the Hudson Quadricentennial Celebration, and it is these two pieces that we will hear tonight. We know that tonight he's celebrating 35 years as a solo artist with 35 CDs, and I would guess that we're not even halfway through that story with Mark O'Connor. Please welcome back Ida Kavafian, Paul Neubauer, Matt Heimovitz, and of course, Mark O'Connor.